authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, here we go. Uh, Stacy just told me a real uplifting story. <laughs> let's, let's do a life hack. <laughs> I think we need a life hack we after need, that one. We right need a there. good one. It's all, <laughs> just, let's hope we've got an uplifting one. Uh, okay, anyways, 28th day of October. Yes. Remove. <laughs> Not so great. Remove unpleasant odors from gym bags. You've got kids that play sports. I do, and so, there know, are. The, and smelly shoes by placing oh. dry tea bags in them overnight. Really? Did you know I that? I did not know that, but uh, I will try that and get uh, back you to you tea? on that. So, I, I have kind of started drinking some tea. I know you love tea. I love tea. I love hot tea, and I'll drink it every night yeah. before I go to bed. Okay. I, there's a special one called Sleepy Time. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. It helps to put Does it work? It works very well. That, that and your glass of wine. <laughs> well, that always helps, too. <laughs> All right, let's go Good outside. Check out the color at U.S. Side. I you have good it. color at your place? Oh, yes, I have good color. It just started popping within yeah. like a day or two last week. Last week, is like I love it. Middle yeah. of the week, it's like all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, yep. everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing reds and mm -hmm. yellows. I love it. I think we're getting a peak season. I mean, I was up when I was living up at West Lafayette. I didn't go to Purdue, but I was working up there. But I was on Purdue's campus a lot. And one of the, uh, the botanists, or she, she told me, Ron, the best way you get enough rain in summer, if you have sunny, dry days, just a long stretch of sunny, dry days to start fall. If you've had enough rain in summer, you're going to get some good fall color, okay. and I think we had enough. We definitely had a long string of sunny, dry days. It was just a matter of did we get enough rain in summer, and I think we did because we're starting to see this great color out there right now. Anyway, Austin Homes Camera, look down in uh, Central City. You can see you've got the blue sky with a few high clouds out there, and that's what we're going to see more than anything. It's going to be a mix of mainly high clouds and that sunshine throughout the afternoon, but we are going to see a few more thicker clouds move in around sunset time, and the sun is setting before 6 o'clock these days, but right around 6, 6.15, we could have a really good looking sunset if we get enough breaks out there. 63 degrees right now, the temperature continuing to surge, so the wind is starting to ramp up a little bit too. From the south, southeast at 7 miles an hour, up to 65 in Jasper, 70 now in Tell City, uh, 70 also in Beaver Dam, 72 in Greenville, a lot of it depending upon whether you've gotten more straight sunshine or not. 65 Henderson and 65 west of the Wabash and Fairfield, nothing shaking on radar. Not expecting rain today. We are seeing the clouds, though, moving in from the west, and we're going to continue to see that over the course of the afternoon. Really not a whole lot going on across the country, but you can see a few more breaks in the clouds as we head through the day today. We are going to see some clearing tonight, but still some clouds hanging around. But we've got a sunnier day headed our way for Tuesday, and it's going to be a warmer day, too. We'll be close to record high territory tomorrow as we hit a high of 83 degrees. Today, though, it's looking like 78, and it's going to stay dry until Halloween. But Halloween looks like most of the rain. We could be seeing a few thunderstorms out there, too. We'll be in the morning and then tapering off as we head through the afternoon. So hopefully in time for trick-or-treating where you are. Better chance, I will say, north of the Ohio for trick-or-treating uh, than it will be to the south. 78 degrees for a high today, so plenty warm out there and plenty breezy later on too. With that wind shifting to the south at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. And then as we take a look at the three degree guarantee on Friday when I was last here, I called for a high of 83. I only got up to 80, but that's three degrees. Uh, Penny Lovell of Dixon. Congratulations, Penny. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station to pick it up. See Pam up front. Today, 78, 83, 82. The average high temperature, Stacey, as you know, up 65. 60, right, yeah. It's down to 65 now. It's like it's crazy. So it's like we're well above the average. Here comes it that rain on Halloween. Let's hope we can dodge any severe so, I mean, weather. This is, that's about, that's normal. Yeah, I know, right then there. One day, up. and then we're back up into the 70s. I like all right, real fast, we're talking about the fall colors oh, of this beautiful pretty. shot from Newburgh. Amy Avani has got that great shot. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Amy. We'll be right back.